the lengths people will go, and the amount that they'll spend on their chickens is astounding. Most people want to emulate the style of their home and their coop. And so we have like really beautiful farmhouse designs. For example, our Chateau Coop is very popular. My name is Kathy Bay Hughes, and I am the founder and head hen of Cutest Coops. Kathy is a first-generation American whose parents left Budapest, Hungary for the U.S. to pursue the American dream. You know, I'm a 44-year-old woman, and to this day when I see my dad, you know, I get choked up because I know what he's been through. He had a toothbrush, a change of underwear, and a ping-pong paddle and two ping-pong balls. And with that tiny little bag of tricks, he turned into the national champion of ping pong in the U.S. Kathy's father took his title to the next level and opened a table tennis club. He then opened a pool hall and later a retail store, which expanded to five locations. Kathy harnessed her father's entrepreneurial spirit and was the first member of her family to attend college and to go on to earn an MBA, which she put to use helping run her family business. Kathy helped run it for 19 years. But the stress of the job was taxing. And so she found a way to de-stress, raising chickens. And so it kind of dawned on me that here I am going through a really stressful time and my chickens feel like they're saving my life. Like, it's my happy place. I don't know if they call me the crazy chicken lady behind my back or whatever, but fine, I'll take the title. The more time Kathy spent with her chickens, the more time she noticed their personalities and quirks as we got our first flock, and I started to realize, oh my goodness, there are family members. They are all have names, they all have personalities. And so, you know, I saw coops on the market, including the first one we got, and it was just not, it, it was not a good place for any kind of pet to live. It was too small, it was uh, very difficult to clean, it was cumbersome. It doesn't emulate how we feel about them and the type of life we would like to give all of our pets. Kathy couldn't find any coop that would give her chickens protection from predators and that was up to her standards. So she decided to build her own. But now she has an even bigger coop, which she designed. It is like the Taj Mahal of chicken coops. It is super nice. And there's like a wine fridge in there and a counter with a potting shed kind of area. It's decked out. <laughs> What was amazing is like when our friends and family would come visit, we would all hang out down there. It was tall enough to walk into, uh, clean out the coop door, so easy cleaning. It had great ventilation and it was really pretty. All of these things that I thought were only for me checked the box of all kinds of chicken owners across the board and I knew I was onto something. It kept like hitting me in the face like, Hey, Kathy, you're a product person. You know how to do this and no one's doing it. Why wouldn't you do it? Kathy knew it was time to put everything she learned during her 19 years running her family business into a venture she was truly passionate about, boutique chicken coops. And so like all of those lessons led me to Cutest Coops. In November, 2018, Kathy started to toy with the idea of turning the chicken keeper lifestyle into a business. Then Kathy built her first coop prototype. And in January 2019, she brought it to a home show in Columbus, Ohio, just to see people's reactions. And the feedback was so positive. Isn't this so cute? I just love it. <laughs> About a half a year later, Kathy officially launched Cutest Coops with just $3,800. Cutest Coops, Cleveland, Ohio, home garden show. The company has no debt, no investors. Everything that I create, I put right back in because this is like my passion project. And I'm super proud of the fact that I've bootstrapped this thing. By March of 2020, I had a decent enough amount of sales and then the pandemic hit and things just went crazy in terms of traffic. Cutest Coops was founded in 2019 and brought in $68,000 in sales that first year. The following year, sales increased 10 times and the company raked in $700,000. And this year in 2021, we will be just shy of 2 million. And I can tell you that we are just getting started. Kathy puts most of her earnings back into savings, but the more she makes, the more she's able to pay herself. And the reason I do that very honestly is I kind of like to see my bank account just keep growing because then when I have the next big idea, I can just do it. 
Kathy knows what it takes to raise chickens and hopes that her coops make it easy and fun for others to do the same. Cutest Coops was built for busy chicken owners by busy chicken owners. Like I did not have the time to fool around. Even cleaning out one of our coops literally takes two minutes and you're done. Prices range from $2,899 to beyond $34,000 for a custom coop. If someone's trying to make something look a little farmy, they might want to go with the country coop, which is really cute. One of my personal favorites and a newer one is the chapel coop. It's adorable. It's like a little chicken church. There are even variations of coops for people living in big cities. It's called the Cube. And the Cube Coop is like literally made for like New York City, San Francisco, you know, Austin, Texas, like in the heart of the city because we all need chickens, not just people with like big rural properties. In 2022, Kathy plans to do a lot more custom coops and to branch out into the home and garden space. Most people who have chickens also have certain other interests like gardens. So I have a feeling that in the near future we'll have an element of, you know, garden sheds maybe. Kathy says her passion for cutest coops comes from the way it touches her customers. I had one lady during the pandemic tell me that both of her parents passed away like within months of each other. And she was crying on the phone to me and said, you know, Kathy, thank you so much for giving me something to look forward to. Right? These are the moments that are like completely priceless. Everything we do is literally about building happiness. I love it.